Hi everyone, um, so I had a uh, subscriber again touching me last night through Instagram just asking me when I was going to unbox this Creatista Plus because they're thinking of getting one this weekend. Um, so I do, with reviews and things, I do, I do like to leave it a little bit and use the machine for a bit first to get used to it, but I'll try and get it out there as quick as I can with this one um, because I appreciate it is a, a limited time deal where you can get it half price on the UK Nespresso website with a £25 subscription. Uh, which is a big saving on this machine. It's even available on the Pro, um, and it's also been extended on this Grand Latissima uh, to the same 5th, 8th, 5th of August again. So I thought it was uh, useful to leave this there while we just unbox it now, just so you can see the difference side by side. Um, but yeah, follow us on, the, if, you, if you're on social media, we've got Facebook set up now, and we've got Instagram set up. Head over and follow us. There'll be a few extra bits on there for you if you follow us on there, so... Yeah, you should. But let's get some box now, anyway. So this was four four nine, I think it was RRP. Let's try and get these bits off the top. But obviously, with the discount, that was half price. It took it down to two two five. Well, check out our video yesterday about that. Um, if you want more details on that offer, this is more of an unboxing, isn't it? Um, I don't want to rip this box. So I'm going to have to spin it round. There we go. So this is a little shelf inside. We're going to be doing the first use, by the way, doing a cleaning cycle on it in a minute. But that's a nice metal shelf in there, big metal shelf. I want to be very careful with this at this price. But I'm going to have to lift it out as one unit, I think. Let's try and get it out. Right, I'm going to very gently put this down here. What I'll do... Oh, there's a milk jug, so it does come with a milk jug, that's good. I, I, I wasn't sure, I, I thought it would, but you, you were just a little bit worried that they might make you buy extra stuff. And then you got your manual. So I'll just, this is the box, just to remind you, see if there's any info on the box we need to know. It just says uh, 19 bar pressure, fast heat up time of 3 seconds. Well, that's different, isn't it? 25 seconds usually on the other machines. Uh, assisted clean system. I think that means, from what I can, the subscribers have said, is that it auto cleans it after and into this drip tray at the bottom. Not sure. I'll be working all this out for the review. So uh, do follow us if you want to know that info. Um, auto frothing, eight texture levels. So that means you can change the texture of your milk on a little dial, I think. Uh, but it does seem to have a, a screen on it as well. Uh, and 11 different milk temperature settings. So it does sound like a good machine. I've wanted to try it for ages now. Um, there is a, a, a version, the Pro version, that's also in the deal by the way, you can get that half price, so it's a £325 saving on that one, uh, but obviously it's not available in every country, so I won't focus on that anymore in this post, so I don't want to depress you if you're not in the UK uh, and you want the machine. So what I'll do now is bring this in here, try and get this wrapper off. I went for the black version and wow I like the look of that <laughs> that looks awesome so I went for the black version there's a, a silver chrome version though isn't there as well look at that right let's just put it next to the granitism so you can see the difference that is a smart looking bit of kit isn't it you can see See why people rave about them so much. And this is even, this is the plus version, it's even the pro. Just unboxing the little milk jug for you now. Obviously we've got the shell, so that's the milk jug. Let's see if I can get this shelf out as well. So they've got little stickers on to take off. And that's, let's get these little stickers off. Don't forget to remove this, by the way. I know it's obvious, but I've got to say it. That, I'm guessing that just sits nicely in there. And then this will go in there. And I'm guessing this like lifts up. I'm not sure how that works yet. Is it just like that? That looks good, doesn't it? Well, I'll be getting used to using it. It seems a little bit rocky, that. I'll get used to using it. Maybe it's supposed to be like that, maybe it's not. Um, what we'll do now, we'll just pause the video, um, I'll get 
So I'll have a look at the manual for the clean cycle and we'll run through that. Right, so we've had a, a quick little look at the manual. Um, <clears throat> the first thing to do is to, fill, uh, to rinse this tank out at the back and then fill it with water. And I'd recommend you fill it right to the top because we're going to have to test the water hardness, which again, impressive feature, but we'll save that for the review. But not, I've not had to do that with any other machine. Uh, the next thing they've said is obviously turn it on. Make sure it's plugged in, switched on. Turn it on and select your language. So we just get right above that. Look at the screen. Right, so it's in English, so I, I'm guessing I just press down to press select. Yeah. And fill the water tank with cold, portable water. The next thing it says to do, we have filled it already. So the next thing it's saying to do is to test the water hardness. Now, in the front of the manual, there's a little strip, a water hardness strip, and I'm guessing you take that off. Let's have a look inside now. I'll take that off. It looks like a bit of a sort of a plaster. I'll try and I'll just pause on. I'll just pause the video. Try and open this up, and I'll show you it once I've opened it up and how I opened it. Right. So we've had a look at the manual with this um, water hardness tester, um, and basically it's got some on-screen prompts on the top of the machine to follow along with. Just uh, focus on that. That's it. And then we've also got the strip itself. It was a little bit difficult to get into. It looked like it teared here. Um, but we didn't want to rip the strip, so we were very delicate. My wife used the nails, got in there, made sure this stayed intact. And then we just it just says to dip this in um, to test how hard the water is. Now, why do we need to do this? Well, water hardness, basically when you water in different areas of the country, it has different levels of minerals and things in it. Um, and if it's really hard, it can alter the taste of things. And that's why sometimes you get tea bags that are for hard water and, and soft water. So soft water will have very uh, few minerals in it. Hard water tends to have a lot of minerals in it. If you're in the UK, Northeast tends to have quite hard water, I've found. Um, and we are sort of in the middle here. And I'm not sure, it just depends on the, on the area, but you can actually find out online, or you can just use one of these testers, which is a lot easier, isn't it? So I don't mind mentioning little mistakes I made, because that's the whole point really, is to help you if you're unboxing for the first time, isn't it, as well? Not just to give you a view of the machine. So I put the water strip in and I left it in there for, I thought it said to leave it in for a minute, but it doesn't. It actually says to just put it in, and then take it out, so briefly put it in, shake the excess water off, and then leave it for a minute to see how the colours change on it. Now, I think these all started out to be green. We can see one, if you can, let's see if we can get it without the foot there. Um, one, has, the first bar has sort of turned red. I said we were in the middle here, so the second bar has sort of gone a bit ready from green. Uh, but I'm fortunate that I know my water here is roughly about i think about 80 60 to 80 parts per million um but the more that turn red correlates to on here it says you might get one turning red two turning red three turning red four turning red four being the hardest water i'd guess one being the softest and then you set that on the machine so we've taken a bit longer than we should have so it's gone off now hopefully the setting will still be there so i'll set the english again it says fill the water tank with cold portable water. Done. Oh, turn the dial. I'll try and get it again. Well, I've done that, so I don't know why it's doing that. There. Ah, turn it the wrong way, that's why. So turn it anti clockwise. Place the test strip in the water for one second. Should have read this first. I always do stuff like this. But uh, then it says wait one minute, observe indicated water hardness level. So I'm going to err on the side of caution with this and go for two because it is just starting to turn. I don't know, it's really hard to get the light and to see that, but it's just starting to, second one's just turning a little bit red. So I think I'll set it to two. Wait, observe indicated water hardness level. Turn encoder to select indicated water level. I'm going to set. I'm going to go with that because I think we're roughly at middle here, and I know that in winter, especially when there's more water coming down off the hills, it does tend to get a bit harder. So select to confirm, and then first use. Press start to prepare your machine for use. Now I'm a little bit <laughs> wary to do that because there's nothing under there. I'm going to get this jug ready just in case something comes out, like water. Place empty jug <laughs> under the coffee outlet. Um, but this way I've got to turn the dial again. Press start to begin cycles. This is a clean cycle. 
and it says it's preparing the machine for use. So we just pour down, we'll see what it's what it pour down. Scroll the camera down and we'll see how much water comes out. We have filled the tank right to the top because this little strip looked quite difficult to get in otherwise with my big hands. So I filled it right to the top. This may take a while. It didn't take very long that. Usually they run quite a lot of water through, but they've only run a few shots through this time with this machine. Quick start, learn how to use your machine. Turn the dial to navigate. Press the dial to adjust the settings. Current coffee settings. This is gonna, it's gonna take me some getting used to this machine, but I will be doing a review. So follow us if you'd like to see the review. Select this icon. Ah, right, so it's showing me the different temperature. That's to select the coffee volume and adjust the coffee volume. Same with the temperature, so you can turn the milk temperature up and down. Select this icon to adjust the froth level. Apparently there's about 10 froth levels or something like that. Use the start button to make the coffee. Cancel to stop the milk frothing and press start to begin using your machine. So I'm going to try and make a coffee with it. and I'll just pause it now. I'm going to get a, a glass. I'll try and make a latte macchiato, a good old friend, the latte macchiato, and we'll see how we get on. Right, so we've had a little play around with the machine. If we look on top now, um, when you first say start the machine, start using it, it starts off on the espresso setting. Um, then you turn it, I'll come around the other side here. You then just turn it left and right to go Lungo, Ristretto. There's drink options, it gives you flat white, cafe latte, cappuccino, latte macchiato, milk, and then steam purge, which I've heard this purges into the drip tray. I, I thought it did it automatically, but I might have to do it myself, we'll see. Um, but I want a latte macchiato. The jug, if you look on the outside here, it has a minimum level and a maximum fill level. And that's also on the inside, so you can see it on the inside too. Um, you just lift this steam wand, put the jug in, and then you've got to make sure the jug is making contact. So we just come around the side a little bit with this little metal dot, or the bit, that's a temperature um, gauge, so it'll recognise the temperature it needs to be at. Uh, so I'm going to try and put it there like that, and then it just says make a latte macchiato. Now, I apologise if I hope I'm not doing this wrong, um, but I'm just going to press it. I'm going to put the capsule in, press it, and see what happens. It's first use for me as well. Um, so I'll just press start and see what happens. Oh, turned it to a... Uh, how do I get back off that? All right, so it's saying set, so I press start. It's saying coffee volume, ideal temperature, setting seven. I'm guessing that means I just press start. Yeah, so just to say what happened there, I, where it says select, I thought you had to select the coffee and it would just make the drink, but it doesn't. Um, and it just says that you, you can select there. If you press it again, you can then select your ideal milk temperature. So I'm going to go with pretty hot, see what that comes out like. And again, you can do the same with the coffee amount and everything. Um, but let's just see how it makes a standard macchiato. Now I've done the heat a bit better, a bit higher by pressing start. We'll see what happens now. Start milk, it says on top. Just said start milk, so I press start. And it's now going to make the milk. It's just frothing up the milk there, the steam one. I do like doing these unboxings, just I don't like to pre-prepare them too much, you know, like practice, 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 because if I make a mistake, I, I assume a lot of people might make a similar mistake, so I like to include them. Looks to be doing a nice job of the milk that though, doesn't it? I'll just let it run in real time so you can see how long it takes to make the drinks in case you're watching this with the thought of buying one. It's definitely starting to get hotter now. You can see the steam coming up off it. It's also possible I might not need the glass on there just yet. I'm I'm wondering if it's going to say, it should say stop, pour the milk in, and then pour your shot in, give you another option again. 
Right, so if you look on top now, it just says start coffee, look, but obviously I'm going to have to take this out. I'll, I'll pour the milk into the jug. There you go, it's self-purging, look, because I've took the jug away, it's cleaning itself. Oh, there's a bit too much milk in there. So we've just done it a little bit, too. I'll pour a tiny bit out. And then I'll just bring it back now and I'll pour the shot into the coffee. It does look a nice texture, the milk, though, I have to say. So we'll start the coffee now. It won't look as good as it would, perhaps, if, uh, if I hadn't have had to pour a bit of milk out first. But it is first use, please forgive me. I will be getting used to this machine, though. No, I do like the look of that. It looks really nice, doesn't it? That looks really, really good. I cannot wait to drink that. I'm glad I poured that bit of milk out. That looks awesome. Right, so we'll pull this out. And then it, I've heard people just say, just give this a quick wipe. It's already self-purged and cleaned itself inside, apparently. And I'm assuming that's done. But like I say, follow us if you want to know more. We're going to be getting to grips with this machine, using it. Hope that unboxing has been useful to you. Um, if you need any more info or if you've got any questions, leave me in the comments below. And as I'm getting used to it, you know, I can respond to the comments and help you out. And other subscribers have got these machines. They've recommended them to me, to be honest. Um, so I'm sure they'll jump in, chip in if you need any help or information or advice. Just one final little thing before we leave you. Um, just to say that latte macchiato was absolutely awesome. It really was on another level to stuff I've tried in the past. So... Uh, we'll reserve judgment as to whether it's worth the full price um, until the review. But it definitely, you can get it for 300 quid on John Lewis even when it's not on offer. Uh, so check that out. Uh, but I'll reserve judgment on that until the final review. At half price, I, I mean, I love it so far. It seems like a no brainer. But we just noticed a little shelf in there. Just when you want to make like cappuccinos and stuff like that, uh, there's just a little shelf in there. A bit of coffee dropped down. Be sure to clean it up. But uh, I thought I'd best mention that in case you've just got it and you're thinking, well, well, how do I make a cappuccino without making a mess everywhere? That's how. Thanks for watching the unboxing. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Please give it a like if you found it useful. Bye for now.